Rum Press Band here. Welcome back to another uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild video. And today, um, you may have noticed in some of my past videos, including my, in my trailer video, I went off to the side uh, and um, showed off the Hylian Shield and the Master Sword. You probably were questioning how I got this, since it is pretty tough to get. So today, I thought I might show you a video on where and how to get the Hylian Shield. Alright, so to start off, unfortunately the only place you are going to be able to get the Hylian Shield is in Hyrule Castle. You don't have to beat the game or anything though, you're completely fine. Where you're going to want to go for this is the uh, left water bridge. So, uh, yeah, basically just going to want to make your way over there. So I will do that right now. So yeah, the left side of the uh what well, well bit, bit here you, you'll see where i'm going to in a sec uh all right not really sure if i'm going the correct way here guys uh hold on give me one sec to figure my place out oh god i'm gonna die are you kidding me Just let me continue on with the video, boys. We don't like that. Y we understand that you're a wannabe assassin. All right, I get that. Although we can't all have our dreams. There we go. Oh, okay. So now that I've got that um dealt with. Where you're gonna want to go is the east side of the High Rule Castle moat. And, uh, you'll see right there, there are some limousine, limousine, I think they're called, crystals. Um, basically, you're gonna wanna go all the way over there. I have the, uh, Frivoli scale, so I'm just gonna fly over there. And you're gonna see that there's gonna be, uh, on your map, this little, like, cave system, kinda. Uh, you're gonna wanna go in here. You can get the crystals if you want. I'm not here for that, though. And when you enter, there is going to be a cobble wall right here. Just take your bum out, blow that up, and start walking through here. Then there are going to be these weird little ice pebbly dudes. I forget what they're called. Ignore them. Uh, just make this uh, stasis. Oh, no, no, no. Um, and you want to basically go all the way forward. So you can ride this uh, minecart. God, Rivali, you came pretty fast. Alright, yeah, so then uh, you're just gonna ride this all the way until the end. The noise is terrible. I, I, I'm sorry for the terrible noise of the minecart. Oh, wait, we're already here. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, yeah, once you get over to the end of the uh, miner's place, you're gonna wanna walk straight through here. And there, it's gonna be like this really weird man statue dude with uh oh it's a guardian part <laughs> with bird eggs and um you're gonna want to take the only passage out of here which is this uh thing over here why do they have all this weird stuff in here why would anyone pray to gods inside of this massacre all right you know what just forget it people did what they wanted to do back then. Alright, so yeah, you're gonna enter here. There's gonna be a cobble wall right here. Once again, blow it up. Um, walk your way through, and then you're gonna wanna turn to this malice, and go left, which will then take you into these, uh, dungeons. So, you're gonna be here, and then there's gonna be another cobble wall. Blow that up. And you're gonna go right here. There's gonna be this eye. Shoot him. Doors open. These guys will be a bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, you can just walk right past them. Uh, and then you're gonna come to this room with a giant pile of bones, and the door will shut right behind you. Make sure you are prepared for this. You are going to have to fight uh, Stanox, which um, well, it, let's just say it's it's not that fun. But basically, it's. Basically, just a skeleton version of the, um, well, you know, Hinox. Uh, it's, he's not too hard to defeat, 
I mean, like, he's a bit of a pain to defeat. Although, uh, once you got the right, you know, like, uh, once you know what you're doing, you can kind of, like, just fight him without any trouble. Uh, if I can just get him an eyeball here. I have so many electric arrows from fighting Lynels. Alright, yeah, so just shoot him in the eye. Uh, come whack him. Not too hard to defeat him once you bring your sword out. And, uh, as you're gonna see here, once you kinda do this amount of damage to him, right, like that, his eyeball is gonna fall out. It is a bit of health. You basically, just knock that out. And then, uh, he'll die and have, like, the most dramatic death ever. Just bones go everywhere. And then a chest is going to appear from the ground. And in that chest, my boys, Hylian Shield. It even says on this, uh, stone right here, Test of the Royal Guard, strike down the giant foe to become the recognized knight of the kingdom. Which obviously means Link. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much how to get the Hylian Shield. This is the strongest shield in the game at 90%. Um, but the sad thing about this... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it does break. It does indeed break. Um, I just used my Ganondorf Amiibo. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that here. That's kind of useless. What's in here? I've never used Ganondorf Amiibo. Not, not too bad for Ganon. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. Uh, the Hylian Shield can, in fact, break. Um, so, if it does break, I'm gonna quickly tell you what you need to do right now. Once you buy a house in, um, Hatchanael Village for only 3,000, uh, rupees, or if you gave him a whole bunch of wood, or didn't, then you have to pay 50,000. Um, and then upgrade it a bit and talk to Hudson. He's gonna say that he is going to Akala, and if you meet him there in Akala on this, um, little platform near a shrine, Demuku Shrine or something like that, uh, he's gonna be making a town called Terry Town. And you have to go there and help him out, uh, collect, like, a whole bunch of people to live in his town. Um, I don't want to spoil too much for the storyline, but basically, um, you have to go to all the different villages, uh, which means Death Mountain, Zora's Domain, Gerudo Town, and, um, Rito Village. And you have to recruit people there, and their names have to end with Sun. Because, well, that's how putts and rolls. All, all the people have to end with sun. I don't know why. I don't know what they have against them. Uh, anyway, so yeah, once you do that and you make the entire village and everything, there's going to be one house with a donkey outside of it and there's going to be a man sitting on the uh, top porch or whatever, the giant thing. Uh, what you're going to do is go talk to him and he will sell you any rare items or items that you have already sold or did not mean to. So basically, let's say you still like your barbarian armor, or the clothes from the first game. Oh god, there's lightning. Um, you can buy all that back from him, and then you can also buy things that have broke. Um, so then you can buy the Hylian shield for him for only 3,000 rupees. Not that expensive when you think about it, although to me, that's like... Yeah, that, that's sad right there, you can see my rupee corner right there that's not a lot of rupees so yeah um that is how to get the hylian shield in legend of zelda breath of the wild so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please consider leaving a like and subscribing and leaving a comment down below i do read almost every comment and comment back um, you can go check out my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate shorts by going on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and, or your, um, Nintendo Online on your phone and hitting X, going in the keyword section, typing in Prof Panda, capital P or OF dot capital P and D A. Um, make sure to hit on the notification bell and go follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Prof, pa at Professor Panda Gaming. Um, 
so you can get the latest news on new video game things and stuff like that. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on Saturday and Sunday, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>